Pen Up an Architect is a software application designed to allow quick and easy creation of object dictionaries. It can export documentation, electronic data sheets, and source code for Canop and Notes. In this tech brief video, I will show how to get started with creating an object dictionary that defines some custom process data and places it into a PDO. We will start by adding some real-time data, otherwise known as process data. Click on Manufacturer Specific and then the Add button to create a new entry. Enter an index of 2000 and a submix of 1 and a name of pressure. Notice that Canopan Architect has automatically created subentry 0 for us. Rename the entry to Environment. Now we need to increase the number of subentries to 3. If we look at the current value for subentry 0, we can see that Canopan Architect automatically updates it to the correct value when we increase the number of subentries. This is part of the built in auto correct functionality that can be disabled if required. Let's rename subentry 2 to Temperature. We're going to mark our temperature as read only, and we're going to make it PDO mappable, and we're going to set the default value to zero. We're also going to add a comment describing this entry in more detail. Now let's do the same for pressure. The next step is to create a PDO that will transmit both pieces of data. Go to the PDO's window under Device. Click on the Add button to create a new PDO. Choose Specify by Number and select Transmit and 1, then OK. Currently, no process data is mapped into the PDO. Click on the Mappings box. Click on the existing dummy mapping entry. Choose the precious subentry, then OK. Click on the Add button. Click on the new mapping and choose a temperature subentry. Then OK and OK. We can see that the mappings are now shown in the mapping box for the PDO. We now have an object dictionary for a node that can transmit pressure and temperature while either of those two values changes. However, if they change too often, then the bus could be flooded with the PDO, so we need to set an inhibit time. To do this, click in the inhibit box and enter a new value, for example 100. This value is in multiple of 100 microseconds, so a value of 100 will be 10 milliseconds. Looking at the message ID value for the PDO, we can see that it says 180 hex and base 180 hex. This means that the message ID for the PDO is determined by taking 180 hex and adding the node ID to it. This is the default scheme used by CanOpen, however so far we have not specified a node ID. Go to Device and then Commissioning. Enter a node ID of 10 hex and a name of Environmental Monitor. Now if we go back to the PDO's window, it shows us that this PDO will use message ID 190x as we expected. We can also rename the EDS to something more useful. Right click on the name and choose rename. Now that we've created the PDO, we can look at the individual entries that have been created.
we can see that a, a transmit PDO communication entry has been added with the meshed identifier defined as 180x plus the node ID. We can also see the inhibit time is set to 100. And if we look at the mappings, there's two mapping entries. The first one is set to index 2000 sub index 1 and is 32 bits in length. And mapping 2 is index 2000 sub index 2 and 32 bits in length. I hope this video has given you a brief overview of how to quickly get started in creating an object dictionary for CanOpen.